I can't believe this is happening to me. My life is over. I can't calm down. Why are you getting mad at me? It's my life that's falling apart. Ugh. So, how's your day going? Not now, Leo. I'm not in the mood for your Leoness. My life is over. That seems a little dramatic, but I wonder if I can have your room. Ha ha. Got any other jokes? My best friends have abandoned me. This new boy in school that I like doesn't know I exist. What's and... on your face? A pimple, Leo. It's a pimple. I got my first pimple, so make a zit joke and get it out of your system. Hmm, tempting. And that is a doozy of a zit. But I don't want to tease you while you're down. Does it hurt? Ah, uh, Leo, thanks. That's really nice of you. And yeah, as bad as it looks, it hurts even more. Ouch! You feeling better now? Yeah, I guess. I don't know what's with me. When anything bad happens, I've been having all these rushes of emotion and I lose control. You know, we can use the history app. To learn what? How to chill out. Not a bad idea. Okay. Wow! Look at all these cool flags and banners. I think we're in a war camp. Those are Roman numerals. We must be in Rome. Halt! Not a step further. Excuse us, sir. Are we in Rome? We're far from the city of Rome, child. But once we conquer these Germanic barbarians, this land will join the Roman Empire. You sound confident. Don't get me wrong. The barbarians are worthy opponents. We've been fighting them up here for over 10 years. But we Romans have superior weapon and armor technology, and we're much more organized. Makes sense then to be confident. The barbarians will soon be defeated, and we will bring glory to Rome and our wonderful emperor. All hail Caesar! Julius Caesar? Goodness, no. Julius Caesar, dictator of Rome, died more than 200 years ago. Our emperor now is the great Marcus Aurelius. What makes him so great? Well, he's not just a great ruler who has fended off countless barbarian invasions and attacks, but he's even expanded the empire's territory through military conquest. And he's also an incredible stoic philosopher. What's a stoic philosopher? Well, he's a great thinker, but not only is he incredibly smart, he never loses his cool. He's stoic. Whether we win or lose a battle, his mood is always the same. It's like he has ice water in his veins. You kids ask a lot of questions. We're actually looking to talk to someone like the Emperor. You see, my sister here has been having some emotional meltdown. Leo, you don't have to tell the world. Mr. Soldier, sir, can you tell us where we can find this Emperor Marcus Aurelius? Soldier? I'm a centurion, a leader of soldiers. Can't you tell by my helmet? It is a really great helmet. Yeah, that thing's awesome. I want one. I happen to be Emperor Aurelius's personal centurion guard, and this is his tent. But flattery of my amazing helmet will get you nowhere. So you won't let us see the Emperor? Of course not. Even without beards, you could be spies. Spies? We're kids! Yes, but along with beards, barbarians often paint their faces before battle. And your sister has that strange marking on hers. <laughs> hey, it's just a zit. Are you telling me you don't have pimples and ancient- The barbarians are charging! All centurions! Battle positions! Ah! Time to fight! You barbarian spy kids better stay out of this tent! I forbid you! Now's our chance! Let's go inside! You think we should? That centurion said not to. Come on! We came this far, and I want to meet a Caesar! You're right. Let's go! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, these barbarians, oh my goodness, when will they ever stop? Is that him? Deep breaths, Marcus, deep breaths. <sighs> Can't be. The centurion said Marcus Aurelius was cool as a cucumber. This guy's a mess. Hey, who's there? <clears throat> well, hello there, children. Can I help you? Maybe. Even though my sister has a crazy zit on her face, we promise we're not barbarian spies, sir. Leo! Oh, sweet boy, I know that. You come with no intent to harm, but with questions. You've come from a great distance. And young lady, 
If you'd like something for that nasty pimple, I'm sure my doctor can whip up some elixir for it. I'm okay, sir, but thank you anyway. Are you Emperor Marcus Aurelius? Indeed. Your long journey was not in vain. How did you know we are bad guys, that we have questions, and that we traveled a long way? The Centurion did say he was super smart. In my years, I've learned that there are many different kinds of intelligence. And so, different people are intelligent in different ways. I myself am an incredibly sensitive person. It allows me to sense the feelings of others, thus making me quite skilled at reading their intentions. Ooh, I bet that's a great skill to have as a Caesar. It's like you can read minds. It does certainly come in handy, but it has its drawbacks too. No way! Indeed way! Because you're really sensitive, you're good at reading others' feelings, but you can have a tough time controlling your emotions, right? Very smart, young lady. I can tell an intelligence of yours is inductive reasoning, the ability to observe and figure out. But your centurion guard said you were a master of controlling your emotions. He thinks you have ice water in your- Caesar! Your Highness! The barbarians! They've breached our left flank and our western fortifications have been compromised! Fear not, Commander. We've prepared for this. Direct the men on the left flank to fall back to the forest line and alert the archers to ready. Yes, sir! <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold it together, Marcus. Hold it together. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Don't let this be the bother of me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> um, are you okay? I am now. As your sister wisely figured, I can be very emotional. Yeah, we can see that. So, I have had to work hard over the years to not let my feelings get the best of me. Do you try to block them? Oh, never. Because as we've discussed, my sensitivity gives me empathy, the ability to read others, be understanding of their feelings, and, shall we say, walk a mile in their sandals? Aren't you kind of being a phony if you're being brave on the outside to your men, but on the inside you're freaking out? I don't think so. I consider it the difference between blocking emotions and managing them. It's okay to feel sad, frustrated, or even angry. And there are proper times to acknowledge those emotions and even let them out. But then there are other times where it's not okay. For me, since I'm Caesar, it's when I'm in front of my men. Is that why you did your 3-2-1-1-2-3 thing? Yes, and why, when I feel negative emotions start to creep in, I take big, long breaths. Deep breathing fuels not just the body, but also the mind and spirit. I feel like I should be writing this down. Interesting you say that. For years I have- Caesar, your highness! The archers are dominating! Your plan worked! The barbarians are retreating! Thank you for your report, Commander. But do not allow the men to get overconfident. Keep steady and keep fighting. Yes, Caesar! Ah, uh, yeah! I did it, I did it. Wait, wait. <sighs> Three, four, five, five, four, three. Staying steady and calm is the key. <sighs> Wait a sec. You have your little rhymes for good emotions too? Oh yes, young man. Just as with negative emotions. There are times and places to let them out and celebrate. But this is certainly not one of them. Not until the barbarians have been fully conquered and we achieve peace on our frontier. Before the centurion came in with the good news, you said that for years, you've been doing something to help control your emotions. Oh yes. Unfortunately, most of my time as Emperor has been full of conflict and war. To the north and east of our glorious and civilized Roman Empire, there has been much fighting between the barbarian tribes, and as a result, our Germanic neighbors have often pushed into our territory on raiding missions for food and supplies. So you haven't really wanted to conquer the barbarians? No. Unlike some Caesars before me, I'm a peaceful person by nature. However, it is my duty to protect the Empire, and sometimes the best defense is a good offense. That makes sense. With all the conflict, my sensitive nature has been greatly tested. So to help manage my emotions, I like to write down my thoughts and review them when time permits. Like keeping a journal or diary. What kinds of things do you write about? That life is full of both pain and pleasure, and much of it is out of our control. Like getting zits. Leo. No, he's correct. So much of what we often think is good or bad is out of our control. I write down reminders not to judge those things negatively or positively, and just accept that life will have ups and downs. I also write notes about the things I can control, and then work hard so that those parts of my life are as positive as possible. You're a very wise man, Emperor Aurelius. I've learned a lot from you today. Thank you. But as you two have seen, 
I also have moments where I'm a complete basket case. Strive to have control of your emotions, but don't be too hot on yourself when you fall short. You will. We all do. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks, Caesar. Now off with you. I need to check on the battle. Hey. Nice book. Yeah, I love reading all these notes about keeping calm, cool, and collected, and knowing that it's even hard for the author to practice what he preaches. Say, how'd it go today at school? Eh, fine. Turns out my friends aren't abandoning me. Maria's family is going to a theme park, and she knows I hate lines and roller coasters. It was just a misunderstanding. And how about the new middle school dream boat? Does he know you exist yet? Oh yeah, his name's Justin. He actually talked to me in the cafeteria today. Ooh, look at you. Yeah, he's real nice. And over the weekend, he actually got a big pimple on his face. We talked and laughed about acne trouble, and we're gonna sit next to each other at lunch tomorrow. Wow, Layla. Marcus Aurelius would be so proud, not getting too low or high. Nope. Ice water in these veins. That's good, because I think I see a new zit coming in on your chin. What? No! No, no, no. One, two, three. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Teenagers, am I right? If you'd like to time travel with us again, please visit PragerU.com slash kids and watch more of our adventures. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.